Ancestry Doctor. Perhaps you could tell a story or two. Perhaps a man only enjoys trouble when there's nothing else left. I scanned you earlier. The metal machine had trouble identifying your species, it refused to admit your existence, and even when it named you, I wouldn't believe it. But it was right. I know where you're from. Forgive me for intruding, but it's remarkable that you even exist. I just wanted to say how sorry I am. survivor. I'm left travelling on my own because there's no one else. There's me. Once we had physical form like you. But then the war came. What? What war? The time war. The whole universe convulsed. The time war raged invisible to smaller species but devastated to higher forms. Our bodies wasted away. We're trapped in this gaseous state. So that's why you need the corpses. We want to stand tall, to feel the sunlight, to live again. I've come to help. I'm the doctor. Impossible. What the hell are you here for? I am waiting for orders. What does that mean? Well, you're never going to get any. Not ever. I demand orders! They're never going to come. Your race is dead. You all burn, all of you. Ten million ships on fire. The entire Dalek race wiped out in one second. You lie! I watched it happen. I made it happen! You destroyed us! No choice. And what of the time, Lords? Dead. They burn with you. The end of the last great time war. Everyone lost. And the coward survived. Oh, and I caught your little signal. Help me, poor little thing. But there's no one else coming because there's no one else left. I am alone in the universe. Yep. So are you. We are the same. Must have fallen through time, the only survivor. You talked about a war? The time war. The final battle between my people and the Dalek race. But you survived too. Not by choice. This means the Dalek isn't the only alien on Earth. Doctor, there's you. The only one of your kind in existence. 
That thing killed hundreds of people. It's not the one pointing the gun at me. I've got to do this. I've got to end it. The Daleks destroyed my home, my people. I've got nothing left. What about you, Doctor? What the hell are you changing into? I couldn't. I wasn't. Oh, Rose. They're all dead. Why don't we survive? I don't know. I am the last of the Daleks. Is that the end of it? The time war? I'm the only one left. I win. How about that? The Daleks survived. Maybe some of your people did too. I'd know. In here. Feels like there's no one. Well then, good thing I'm not going anywhere. Time Lord. What? Oh, yes. The last of the Time Lords and his traveling machine. Or with his little human girl from long ago. I don't know what you're talking about. The walls aren't that old. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. There used to be laws stopping this kind of thing from happening. My people would have stopped this. But they're all gone. And now I'm going the same way. Just you. You're the only one here. Before this war began, I was a father and a grandfather. Now I'm neither. But I'm still a doctor. Yeah. Know the feeling. It doesn't mean anything. I spared her life. You let one of them go, but that's nothing new. Every now and then a little victim's spared because she smiled, because he's got freckles, because they begged. And that's how you live with yourself. That's how you slaughter millions. Because once in a while, on a whim, if the wind's in the right direction, you happen to be kind. Only a killer would know that. Is that right? From what I've seen, your funny little happy-go-lucky life leaves devastation in its wake. Always moving on, because you dare not look back. Playing with so many people's lives, you might as well be a god. And you're right, Doctor. You're absolutely right. Sometimes, you let one go. That's impossible. I know those ships. They were destroyed. Obviously, they survived. Who did? Who are they? 200 ships. More than 2,000 on board each one. That's just about half a million of them. Half a million what? Daleks. You said they were extinct. How come they're still alive? In one minute, they're the greatest threat in the universe. The next minute, they vanished out of time and space. They went off to fight a bigger war. Time war. I thought that was just a legend. I was there. The war between the Daleks and the Time Lords, with the whole of creation at stake. My people were destroyed, but they took the Daleks with them. I almost thought it was worth it. Now it turns out they died for nothing. So tell me, how did you survive the Time War? They survived through me. This is the Emperor of the Daleks. You destroyed us, Doctor! The Dalek race died in your inferno, but my ship survived, falling through time, crippled but alive! I get it. The time will end. I will not die! story says that just before his death, the face of Bo will impart his great secret, that he will speak those words only to one like himself. What does that mean? It's just a story. Tell me the rest. It's said he'll talk to a wanderer, to the man without a home, the lonely god. I thought 
you died. I waited for you. You didn't come back, and I thought you must have died. I lived. Everyone else died. What do you mean? Everyone died, sir. And what of the Time Lords? I always thought of you as such a pompous race. Ancient, dusty senators, so frightened of change and chaos. And of course, they're all but extinct. Only you, the last. Become a god at my side. Imagine what you could do. Think of the civilizations you could save. Pergamon, Asinta. Your own people, Doctor, standing tall. The Time Lords. Reborn. I could save everyone. Yes. I could stop the war. No. Universe has to move forward. Pain and loss, they define us as much as happiness or love. Whether it's a world or a relationship. Everything has its time. And everything ends. So lonely, so very, very alone. You mean alone? You've never been alone in your life. When did you start calling me doctor? Such a lonely little boy. Lonely then and lonelier now. How can you bear it? You can fix it. There's nothing to fix. She's perished. The last hardest in the universe. Extinct. This one knows me, as I know him, the killer of his own kind. A human who knows about the Daleks and the Time War. If you want to know how I can keep us alive, that's all I'm asking. Me and my friends. Yeah, Daleks. Time War. Me too. Yeah, and me. But Daleks, you said they were all dead. Never mind that. What the hell's a Genesis arc? When you travel in time in the TARDIS, you soak up all this, um, background radiation. It's harmless, it's just there. But in the time war, the Daleks evolved so they could use it as a power supply. I love it when you talk technical. Shut up. If the Daleks got something inside that thing and it needs waking up... They need you. You've travelled in time, either one of us would do. But why would they build something they can't open themselves? The technology is stolen! The Ark is not of Dalek design! And who built it? The Time Lords! This is all that survives of their home world! If you, um... escape the Time War, don't you want to know what happened? Place your hand! What happened to the Emperor? The Emperor survived? Till he met me. How did you survive the time war? By fighting. On the front line. I was there at the fall of Arcadia. Someday I might even come to terms with that. But you lot, run away! We had to survive! The last four Daleks in existence. What's so special about you? Doctor, they got names. I mean, Daleks don't have names, do they? But one of them said they were... I am Dalek Fay. Dalek Sec, Dalek Jask, Dalek Khan. So that's it. At last. The cult of Scar. I thought you were just a legend. Who are they? A secret order. Above and beyond the Emperor himself. Their job was to imagine. Think as the enemy thinks. Even dare to have names. All to find new ways of killing. But that thing, they said it was yours. I mean, Time Lords. They built it. What does it do? I don't know. Never seen it before. This. Time Lord. Both sides had secrets. <laughs> Time Lord science. It's bigger on the inside. The Time Lords put those Daleks in there. What for? It's a prison ship. How many Daleks? Millions. Look at what he can do. Ah, oh, both TARDIS. Same old life, last of the Time Lords. 
I am the last of my kind. As you are the last of yours, Doctor. That's why we have to survive. Both of us. Don't go. I must. But know this, Time Lord. You are not alone. What did he mean? The face of Bo. You're not alone. Not alone? You've got me. Is that what he meant? I don't think so. Sorry. I could pretend. Just for a bit, I could imagine they were still alive. Underneath the burnt orange sky. I'm not just a time lord. I'm the last of the time lords. Face of Bob is wrong, there's no one else. What happened? There was a war. A time war. The last great time war. My people fought a race called the Daleks. For the sake of all creation. And they lost it. We lost. Everyone lost. They're all gone now. My family. My friends. Even that sky. Oh, I should have seen it, that old planet. You gotta move with the times, you get left behind. My planet is gone. Destroyed in a great war. Yet versions of this city stand throughout history. The human race always continues. But there are millions of humans and only four of us. If we are supreme, why are we not victorious? The cult of Skaro was created by the Emperor for this very purpose to imagine new ways of survival. But we must remain pure. No, Dalek Fay. Our purity has brought us to extinction. We must adapt to survive. They survive. They always survive when I lose everything. We are the only four Daleks in existence, so the species must evolve. A life outside the shell. You are the last of your kind. And now I am the first of mine. Just understand this. If you choose death and destruction, then death and destruction will choose you. Incorrect. We always survive. One of the Dark Masters must still be alive. Oh, yes. In the whole universe. Just one. Your entire species has been wiped out. And now the cult of Skaro has been eradicated. Leaving only you. Right now you're facing the only man in the universe who might show you some compassion. Because I've just seen one genocide. I won't cause another. This is coming. To keep me away from the false and empty man. The last of the time lords. The last of that wise and ancient race. The faces of men. Yeah, uh, might I ask, what species are you? Time lord. Last of them. Heard of them? Legend or anything? Not even a myth. Blimey, and the universe is a bit humbling. She brought you back to life. But she couldn't control it, she brought you back forever. That's something, I suppose. The final act of the time war was life. Do you think she could change me back? I took the power out of her. She's gone, Jack. That means you could be a time lord. You might not be the last one. Jack, keep it up! That's free, isn't it?
Yes, of course it is. But which one? Brilliant, fantastic, yeah. But they died! The Time Lords. All of them, they died. Not if he was human. What did he say, Martha? What did he say? <laughs> Nah. Let's get to time where that's a perfect place to hide. The end of the universe. Think what the face of Bo said. His dying words. You are not alone. So perfect a disguise that I forgot who I am. And who are you? me because they knew I'd be the perfect warrior for a time war. I was there when the Dalek Emperor took control of the Cruciform. I saw it. I ran. I ran so far. Made myself human so they would never find me. Because I was so scared. I know. All of them? But not you, which must mean... I was the only one who could end it. And I tried, I did, I tried everything. What did it feel like, though? Two almighty civilizations burning. Oh, tell me, how did that feel? Stop it! You must have been like God. I've been alone ever since. But not anymore. Don't you see, all we've got is each other. Are you asking me out on a date? I remember the days when the Doctor, oh, that famous Doctor, was waging a time war, battling sea devils and axons. Then stop. Once the Empire is established, and there's a new Gallifrey in the heavens, maybe then. It stops. You're my responsibility from now on. The only Time Lord left in existence. Yeah, but you can't trust them. No. The only safe place for him is the TARDIS. Maybe I've been wandering for too long. Now I've got someone to care for. <laughs> We're the only two left. And no one else. Richard Wright! Of all the people to survive, he's not the one you would have chosen, is he? But if you could choose, Doctor, if you could decide who lives and who dies, that would make you a monster. Man from Gallifrey. What? <sighs> Strangest of images. Your home is lost in fire, is it not? That's what they do. Every waking second I can see what is, what was, what could be, what must not. It's the burden of the Time Lord, Donna. I'm the only one left. But you can change it back! I can invert the system, set off the volcano and blow them up, yes, but... That's a choice, Donna. It's Pompeii or the world. Oh, my God. If Pompeii is destroyed, then it's not just history. It's me. I make it happen. For your own planet. That's just it. Don't you see, Donna? Can't you understand? If I could go back and save them, then I would, but I can't. 
I can never go back. I can't. I just can't. I can't. Legend says he led the battle in the last great time war. The finest war in history, and we weren't allowed to be part of it. Oh, but this is excellent. The last of the Time Lords will die at the hands of the Sontaran Empire in the ruins of his precious Earth! Oh, hang on, a second ago it was peace in our time, now you're talking about genocide. For us, that means the same thing. Then you need to get yourself a better dictionary. When you do, look up genocide. You'll see a little picture of me there, and the caption will read, Over my dead body. Not good, is it? That's why we need to get out of here. Find Martha and stop Cobb from slaughtering the hat. What, what are you, what are you, what are you staring at? You keep insisting you're not a soldier, but look at you, drawing up strategies like a proper general. No, no, I'm trying to stop the fighting. Isn't every soldier? Well, I suppose, but that's, that's, technically, I haven't got time for this. Donna, give me your phone, time for an upgrade. And now you've got a weapon. It's not a weapon. But you're using it to fight back. <laughs> I'm going to learn so much from you. You are such a soldier. What's a Time Lord? It's who I am. It's where I'm from. And I'm from you? You're an echo, that's all. A Time Lord is so much more. A sum of knowledge, a code, a shared history, a shared suffering. And it's gone now, all of it. Gone forever. What happened? There was a war. Like this one. <laughs> bigger. Much bigger. And you fought. And killed. Yes. Then how are we different? You'll never rid of it. We don't have a choice. We always have a choice. When I look at her now, I can see them. The hollow left, all the pain that filled it. Just enough I can face that every day. You won't stay like that. She'll help you. We both will. Well, when they died, that part of me died with them. It'll never come back. Those things you've been ready to die for. I thought for a moment there you'd finally found something worth living for. Oh. It's always something worth living for, Martha. Time Lords are the stuff of legend. Belong in the myths and whispers of the higher species. You cannot possibly exist. You were destroyed. In the very first year of the Time War, at the gates of Elysium. I saw your command ship fly into the jaws of the Nightmare Child. I tried to save you. But it took one stronger than you, Dalek Khan himself. I flew into the wild and fire. I danced and died a thousand times. Emergency temporal shift took him back into the time war itself. But that's impossible. The entire war is time locked. And yet he succeeded. Oh, it cost him his mind, but. Imagine, a single, simple Dalek succeeded where emperors and time lords have failed. After all this time, everything we saw, everything we lost, I have only one thing to say to you. Bye! We'll have to go out. Because if we don't, they'll get in. You told me nothing could get through those doors. You've got extrapolator shielding. Last time we fought the Daleks, they were scavengers and hybrids and mad. But this is a fully-fledged Dalek Empire, at the height of its power. Experts are fighting TARDISes, they can do anything. Right now, that wooden door is just wood. The last child of Gallifrey is powerless. You've met before. The last of the cult of Skaro. But it flew into the time war unprotected. Khan did more than that. Is it you, Khan? Did you kill Donna? Why did the TARDIS door close? Tell me! Oh, that's it? The anger, the fire, the rage of a Time Lord who butchered 
Turning through the dark. And then, Doctor. Oh, but then. He will knock four times. I'm not just a time, though. I'm the last of the time. They'll never come back. Not now. Ah, oh, both TARDIS. Same old life, last of the time, Lords. And they died and took it all with them. The walls of reality closed, the worlds were sealed. Gone forever. And the time Lords kept their eye open. And it's gone now. But they died, the time Lords. All of them, they died. I'm the last of the time. Yes, because there are laws. There are laws of time. And once upon a time, there are people in charge of those laws, but they died. They all died. Do you know who that leaves? Me! It's taken me all these years to realize the laws of time are mine. And they will obey me! For a long time now, I thought I was just a survivor, but I'm not. I'm the winner. That's who I am. Time Lord Victorious. I don't care who you are. The Time Lord Victorious is wrong. That's for me to decide. Returning, returning. It is slowly returning through the dark and the fire and the blood. Always returning, returning to this world. It is returning, and he is returning, and they are returning, but too late. Too late. Far too late. Because a shadow is falling over creation. Something vast is stirring in the dark. The Ood have gained this power to see through time. Because time is bleeding. Shapes of things once lost are moving through the veil. And these events from years ago threaten to destroy this future and the present and the past. What do you mean? This is what we have seen, Doctor. The darkness heralds only one thing. The end of time itself. <laughs> Somehow knowing the dawn would bring only one thing. The final day. I've been told something is returning. And here I am. Now, something more. But it hurts. I was told the end of time. It hurts. Doctor, the noise. What news of the Doctor? Disappeared, my Lord President. But we know his intention. He still possesses the moment, and he'll use it to destroy Daleks and Time Lords alike. The visionary confirms it. Ending, burning, 
falling, all of it falling. The black and pitch and screaming fire, so burning. All of her prophecies say the same, that this is the last day of the Time War, that Gallifrey falls, that we die today. This is only the furthest edge of the Time War, but at its heart, millions die every second, lost in bloodlust and insanity, with time itself resurrecting them to find new ways of dying over and over again, a travesty of life. Isn't it better to end it at last? Thank you for your opinion. It talks of two survivors beyond the final day. Two children of Gallifrey. Does it name them? This is the Doctor's final battle. At the end of his life, he must stand at arms. Or lose himself and all this world. To the end of time. Over and out. What's she on about? What's she doing? Do Doctor, what does that mean? A white point star is only found on one planet. Gallifrey. Which means... It's the Time Lords. The Time Lords are returning. Well, I mean, that's good, isn't it? I mean, that's your people. <laughs> The High Council of Time Lords must vote. Whether we die here today, or return to the waking world and complete the ultimate sanction, for this is the hour when either Gallifrey falls, or Gallifrey rises! But you said your people were dead, past tense. Inside the time war, and the whole war was time lock. Like sealed inside a bubble. It's not a bubble, just think of a bubble. Nothing can get in or get out of the time lock. But you see, nothing can get in or get out, except something that was already there. The signal, since he was a kid. They can follow the signal. They can escape before they die. Well, then, big reunion, we'll have a party. There will be no party. But I've heard you talk about your people like they're wonderful. That's how I choose to come up with them. The time wars evolved, but then they went to war. An endless war, and it changed them right to the core. You see, my enemies, Wilf. The Time Lords are more dangerous than any of them. The vote is taken. Only two stand against. And will stand as monument to their shame. The weeping angels of old. Now the vanguard stands prepared. As the children of Gallifrey return to the universe. To Earth! This is fantastic, isn't it? The Time Lords restored! You weren't there in the final days of the war. You never saw what was born. But if the Time Lock's broken, then everything's coming through. Not just the Daleks, but the Scarrow degradations. The Horde of Travesties. The Nightmare Child. The could have been king with his army of meanwhiles and never words. The war turned into hell. And that's where you opened. Right above the earth. Hell is descending. My kind of world. Just listen! Because even the Time Lords can't survive that! We will initiate the final sanction. The end of time will come. At my hand. The rupture will continue until it rips the time vortex apart. That's suicide! We will ascend to become creatures of consciousness alone. Free of these bodies, free of time and cause and effect. Our creation itself ceases to be. You see now, that's what they were planning in the final days of the war. I had to stop them. Back into the time war, Rassilon! Back into hell! Gallifrey Falls! Gallifrey Falls! So there are other Time Lords, yeah? No. There were, but there aren't just me now. Long story, it was a bad day. Bad stuff happened. And you know what? I'd love to forget it all, every last bit of it. But I don't. Not ever. What if you were really old? 
I'm really kind and alone. Your whole race dead. No future. What couldn't you do then? If you were that old and that kind, and the very last of your kind, you couldn't just stand there and watch children cry. The star wheel. All that pain and misery. And loneliness. And it just made it kind. But you couldn't have known how it would react. You couldn't. But I've seen it before. Very old and very kind and the very, very last. Sound a bit familiar? We picked up a trace. One of the progenitor devices. Progenitor? What's that when it's at home? It is our past and our future. Oh, that's deep. That is deep for a Dalek. What does it mean, though? It contains pure Dalek DNA. Thousands were created. All were lost, save one. Extinction is not an option. We shall return to our own time and begin again. No, 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 I won't let you get away this time. I won't. Observe, Doctor, a new Dalek paradigm. Behold, the restoration of the Daleks. The resurrection of the Master Race. And I take it you're a refugee like me. Where are you from? Gallifrey. You should be in a museum. <laughs> or in a mausoleum. I told you, you can't go back and change time. You mourn, but you live. And no, Rosanna, I did it. Tell me, Doctor. Can your conscience carry the weight of another dead race? Honestly? I've heard such good things. Last of the Time Lords, the oncoming storm, him in a bow tie. <laughs> I also don't belong on this planet. I also am alone. You know, sometimes winning, winning is no fun at all. There was a goblin or a trickster or a warrior. A nameless, terrible thing, soaked in the blood of a billion galaxies. The most feared being in all the cosmos. And nothing could stop it, or hold it, or reason with it. One day it would just drop out of the sky and tear down your world. And you've got any plans on taking the Pandorica tonight? Just remember who's standing in your way. Remember! Every black day I ever stopped you, and then, and then, do the smart thing. Let somebody else try first. There's a living Time Lord still out there, and it's one of the good ones. You said there weren't any other Time Lords left. There are no Time Lords left anywhere in the universe, but the universe isn't where we're going. See that snake? So there are Time Lords here, then? Not anymore. But there have been many TARDISes on my back in days gone by. Uh, well, there won't be any more after us. Last time, Lord. Last TARDIS. A pity. Your people were so kind. You told me about your people, and you told me what you did. Yes, yes, but if they're like the Corsair, they're good ones, and I can save them. And then tell them you destroyed all the others. I can explain, babe. Tell them why I had to. You want to be forgiven? It took me all. It's your fault, isn't it, sweet? Because you told House it was the last TARDIS. House uh, can't feed on them if there's none more coming, can he? So, so now he's off to your universe to find the TARDIS. It you won't. Oh, it'll think of something. <laughs> we are in your universe now, Doctor. Why should it matter to me in which room you die? I can kill you just as easily here as anywhere. Fear me. I've killed hundreds of Time Lords. Fear me. I've killed all of them. Colonel Manton. All those stories you've heard about him, they're not stories, they're true. <laughs> really? You're not telling me you don't know what's coming? It's just some old saying. A very old saying. The oldest. Demons run when a good man goes to war. 
The anger of a good man is not a problem. Good men have too many rules. Good men don't need rules. Today is not the day to find out why I have so many. The only reason I joined the clerics was so I could meet the doctor again. You wanted to meet him? So you joined an army to fight him? Well, how else do you meet a great warrior? He's not a warrior. Then why is he called the doctor? Why even do it? Even if you could get your hands on a brand new Time Lord, what for? A weapon? Why would a Time Lord be a weapon? Well... They've seen you. Me? Mr. Maldiva, you are right. This was too easy. We should get back to the others. Me. Demons run when a good man goes to war. Night will fall and drown the sun when a good man goes to war. Friendship dies and true love lies. Night will fall and the dark will rise when a good man goes to war. You make them so afraid. When you began all those years ago, sailing off to see the universe, did you ever think you'd become this? The man who can turn an army around at the mention of his name. And now they've taken a child. The child of your best friends. And they're going to turn her into a weapon just to bring you down. And all this, my love, in fear of you. It was never going to be a gun for you, Doctor. The man of peace who understands every kind of warfare except perhaps the cruelest. Of course. Who else? An ancient creature drenched in the blood of the innocent. Drifting in space through an, uh, an endless shifting maze. For such a creature, death would be a gift. Then accept it. And sleep well. I wasn't talking about myself. And they want me dead. No, not really. They just don't want you to remain alive. That's okay then. I was a bit worried for a minute there. You're a man with a long and dangerous past. But your future is infinitely more terrifying. The signs believe it must be averted. Looking at you, Doctor, is like looking into a mirror. Almost. There's rage there, like me. Guilt, like me. Solitude. Everything but the nerve to do what needs to be done. Thank the gods my people weren't relying on you to save them. No! No! But these people are out! 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 We believe that when you die, your spirit has to climb a mountain, carrying the souls of everyone you wronged in your lifetime. Imagine the weight I will have to lift. The monsters I created. The people they killed. Isaac. He was my friend. Now his soul will be in my arms too. Can you see now why I fear death? You want to hand me over? There's no shame in that. You won't. We all carry our prisons with us. I walked away from the last great time war. I marked the passing of the Time Lords. I saw the birth of the universe and I watched as time ran out. And I have watched universes freeze and creations burn. I have seen things you wouldn't believe. I have lost things. You will never understand, and I know things, secrets that must never be told, knowledge that must never be spoken, knowledge that will make parasite gods blaze. A soldier knows another soldier, he'll smell it on you, smell it on you a mile off. 
They wouldn't smell it on you, Doctor. Just let me in there before it's too late. It can't be you or any of your men. Well, it can't be you. Because I killed. And I caused to have killed. I sent young men and women to their deaths. But here I am, still alive, and it does tend to haunt you, living after so much of the other thing. So? to be the Tiberian spiral galaxy. A million star systems, a hundred million worlds, a billion trillion people. It's not there anymore. No more Tiberian galaxy. No more Cybermen. It was effective. It's horrible. Yeah. I feel like a monster sometimes. Why? Because instead of mourning a billion trillion dead people, I just feel sorry for the poor blight of that to press the button and blow it all up. Welcome to the final resting place of the cruel tyrant, of the slaughterer of the ten billion, and the vessel of the final darkness. Welcome to the tombs of the Doctor. It was a minor skirmish by the Doctor's blood-soaked standards. Not exactly the time war, but enough to finish him. In the end, it was too much for the old man. Blood soaked. The doctor has been many things, but never blood soaked. Tell that to the leader of the Sycorax, or Solomon the Trader, or the Cybermen, or the Daleks. The doctor lives his life in darker hues, day upon day, and he will have other names before the end. Storm, the Beast, the Valiard. me. There's only me here. That's the point. Now let's get back. But I never saw that one. I saw all of you. Eleven faces. All of them you. You're the 11th Doctor. I said he was me. I never said he was the Doctor. Oh, I don't understand. Look, my name, my real name. That is not the point. The name I chose is the Doctor. The name you choose, it's like, it's like a promise you make. He's the one who broke the promise. Clara? 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 <laughs> he is my secret. What I did, I did without choice. I know. In the name of peace and sanity. But not in the name of the doctor. Yes, but you'll be perfectly safe, I promise you. Don't touch me! I'm not part of the war. I swear to you, I never was. You were a Time Lord. Yes, I'm a Time Lord, but I'm one of the nice ones. Get away from me! Oh, look on the bright side, I'm not a Dalek! Who can tell the difference anymore? Cass! It's deadlocked! Don't even try! Cass, just open the door, I'm trying to help! Go back to your battlefield! You haven't finished yet! Some of the universe is still standing. I'm not leaving this ship without you. I think you're gonna die right here. Best news all day. The war between the Daleks and the Time Lords threatens all reality. You are the only hope left. It's not my war. I will have no part of it. You can't ignore it forever. I help where I can. I will not fight. Because you are the good man, as you call yourself? I call myself the Doctor. It's the same thing in your mind. I'd like to think so. She wanted to see the universe. She didn't miss much. It's very nearly over. I could have saved her. I could have got her off this. She wouldn't listen. Then she was wiser than you. She understood there was no escaping the time war. You are a part of this, Doctor. Whether you like it or not. I would rather die. You're dead already. How many more will you let join you? If she could speak. 
What would she say? To me, nothing. I'm a Time Lord. Everything she despised. She would beg your help, as we beg your help now. The universe stands on the brink. Will you let it fall? Warrior. Warrior? I don't suppose there's any need for a doctor anymore. Beginning, sometimes this has side effects. Ah, everybody, just run! I know what the guys have been telling you, but trust me, they're not premonitions, okay? Just side effects, hallucinations. Almost nothing in the universe could get through a sky trench. Up there, we got 400 of them. Welcome to Arcadia. Safest place on Gallifrey. That's all it would take. One Dalek. One Dalek acting alone and we're finished. Gallifrey is my home. I know it when I see it. That is not Gallifrey. Doctor, you okay? It's not Gallifrey. Gallifrey's gone. Unless... Unless she saved it. You thought you might have. Even if it survived, it's gone from this universe. That is not my home. It can't be. If you answer the question and they come back, what happens? Uh, you need to take this to the TARDIS and put it in the charger slot for the Sonic. Why? Hell. All hell. That's what happens if the Time Lords come back. There's half a universe up there already waiting to open fire. Now, please, go to the TARDIS and just do as I say. If you speak your name, the Time Lords will return. If they return, they will come in peace. It doesn't matter. They will be met with a war that will never end. The Time War will begin anew. You know that, Doctor. They're asking for my help! And if you give it, war will be the consequence. I will not let that happen. At any cost. Speak your name, and this world will burn. It's the standoff. They can't attack in case I unleash the Time Lords and I can't run away because they'll burn this planet to stop the Time Lords. Hey, after all these years, I've finally found somewhere that needs me to stick around. But you don't die. You change. You pop right back up with a new face. No, not forever. I can change 12 times, 13 versions of me, 13 silly doctors okay so you're number 11 so ha, are we forgetting captain grumpy huh i didn't call myself the doctor during the time war but it was still a regeneration what did you see the birth of a star stars born every day you've seen a million stars born so what alex have destroyed a million stars oh, millions and millions trust me i can count i thought you might have a a rule against soldiers. No? No, not at all. Not me. Thank you, Prince of Thieves. Last of the Time Lords? Yes. I have a plan. And one day, you're going to come back to this barn, and on that day, you're going to be very afraid indeed. But that's okay. Because if you're very wise, I'm very strong. Fear doesn't have to make you cruel or cowardly. I'm a soldier, guilty as charged. You see him? He's an officer. I'm not an officer! I I'm the one who carries you out of the fire. He's the one who lights it. Sometimes the only choices you have are bad ones. But you still have to choose. The terrestrial navigation starts up, closes down all the other systems. You should ask somebody who knows. Mm, a 
That's another of the drawbacks of being the last of your species. No one to ask when your TARDIS won't start. Don't make me say it. Say one. I don't want to be the last of my kind. Why are you still alive? You saved me. I saved Gallifrey. Yes, Gallifrey too, I suppose. There's always collateral damage with you and me. It's our Paris. Gallifrey is lost in another dimension. Yes and no. Meaning? Yes, it's in another dimension. No, it's not lost. You know where it is? Yep. You know the best part about knowing? You. Look harder. Clara, watch this. This is who the doctor is. Watch the blood-soaked old general in action. I entered the coordinates, just like she said. And I found Gallifrey. So what are you going to do now? Go home. Okay. Gallifrey can be a good place. I can help make it that. What, you? Shut up. <laughs> you won't just steal the TARDIS and run away. No, not this time. Never again. I believe that for the ultimate good of the universe, I was right to create the Daleks. You were very wrong. This is the argument we've had since we met. It ended in the Time War. It survived the Time War, but it will end tonight. Galaxies have burned. And now you ask me a personal question. You have slaughtered billions of my children as I have slaughtered billions of your race. We have exhausted the conventional means of communication. My people are alive. They didn't die. I brought them back. I found a way. Is this true? Gallifrey is back in the sky. I don't know where. I may never know. But Gallifrey is back and it is safe. From both of us. If you have redeemed the Time Lords from the fire, do not lose them again. Take the darkest path into the deepest hell. But protect your own. As I have sought to protect mine. Time Lords, cowardly, vain curators who suddenly remembered they had teeth and became the most warlike race in the galaxy. But you, you, you are curious. You will never understand. I don't understand. <laughs> are you kidding me? Of course I understand. I mean, you call this a war, this funny little thing? This is not a war. I fought in a bigger war than you will ever know. I did worse things than you could ever imagine. And when I close my eyes, 
I hear more screams than anyone could ever be able to count. I don't know what you do with all that pain. Shall I tell you where you put it? You hold it tight. Till it burns your hand. And you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. Not on my watch. understand how you could just forgive me. Because I've been where you have. There was another box. I was going to press uh, another button. I was going to wipe out all of my own kind. Man, woman and child, I was so sure I was right. What happened? Same thing that happened to you. I let Clara Oswald get inside my head. Long before the Time War, the Time Lords knew it was coming, like a storm on the wind. There were many prophecies and stories, legends before the fact. One of them was about a creature called the Hybrid. Half Dalek, half Time Lord, the ultimate warrior. But whose side would it be on? Would it bring peace or destruction? Was it real or a fantasy? Who the hell does he think he is? The man who won the Time War, sir. What does he want? Revenge. The Doctor does not blame Gallifrey for the horrors of the Time War. I should hope not. He just blames you. Lord President, he's a war hero. Some of these men served with him. These men served me! You! Explain! There was a saying, sir, in the Time War. A saying? First thing you notice about the Doctor of War is he's unarmed. For many, it's also the last. I was at Skull Moon, sir. Gallifrey is currently positioned at the extreme end of the Time Continuum for its own protection. We're at the end of the universe, give or take a star system. I know. I came the long way round. The President may not find anywhere to go. He's not the President anymore. He was a good man once. Isn't this going a little far? Oh, I've barely started. Tell the High Council that on the next shuttle. I thought you said Gallifrey was frozen in another dimension. Well, they must have unfrozen it and come back. How? I didn't ask. Make them feel clever. You see people die before, yeah? Of course. You still care? Of course I care. How many? How many what? If you care so much, tell me how many people you've seen die. I don't know. Okay. How many before you lost count? I care, Bill, but I move on. Yeah. How quickly? It's not me you're angry with. Have you ever killed anyone? There's a look in your eyes sometimes that makes me wonder. Have you? There are situations when the options available are limited. Not what I asked. Sometimes the choices are That's not what I asked! Yes. How many? Don't tell me. You've moved on. And you know what happens if I don't move on? More people die. Pope Benedict said that you were more in need of confession than any man breathing. But when the offer was made, you replied it would take too much time. On behalf of the Catholic Church, the offer stands. You seem like a man with a regret on his mind. You cannot do this. You will not leave this planet alive. Do me a favor. The fatality index. Look up the doctor. 
You have an entry, just like any other sentient being. Under cause of death. You do seem to have a, an impressive record of fatalities credited to you. A truly remarkable record. Where are you going? He's unarmed. You are unarmed. Always. You stand alone. Off. You're the one who should be afraid. Ever. Have a nice day then. Planet Earth, not a single living thing. Dead as the moon. You seem pretty damn calm about it. Do I? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not my first dead planet. To the end. To the death, my friend. To the death. You knew that would happen. Always been my problem. Oh, thinking like a warrior. You know, every moment you waste wallowing about in that happy thought means more of the living are going to join them. When you want to win a war, remember this. It's not about you. Believe me, I know. Time to grow up. Ah. Time to fight your fight. But if you... If you die here... If your future never happens, if you don't do the things that you are supposed to do, the consequences could be... You stand in the chamber of the dead. You are known to all here, for you are the doctor of war. <laughs> the doctor, yes. The doctor of war, never, ma'am, never. I am the Doctor. Who you are, I cannot begin to imagine. Then let us show you, Doctor. See who you will become. Doctor! That's not a good idea. They will die. The Doctor has walked in blood through all of time and space. The Doctor has many names. Destroyer of the world! The Inn of the Pandora, the Shadow of the Vanyard, the Beast of Tremzeroth, the Butcher of Skull Moon, the last to be of the Destroyer of Sparrow, he is the Doctor of War. What was that? To be fair, they cut out all the jokes. So... That's what it means to be a doctor of war. You were right, you know. The universe generally fails to be a fairy tale. But that's where we come in.